Yo, what's up? Back for another video. And though I am a smiley face right now, the topic actually I'm going to cover isn't so happy. And that is dealing with loneliness and mental health. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right, serious topic. That is loneliness and mental health. So it's no secret that mental health affects men as well. What's really sad is that suicides are highest with men. Prisoners are mostly men and homelessness is mostly men. So why I wanted to do this video is because I was hit with extreme loneliness and bouts of depression, not serious depression, not clinical depression, but definitely bouts of depression. So how this all happened is I, I live in Atlanta right now. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my videos and I moved here eight months ago at the time of recording this video from Canada. Before I moved here, I was married and I separated from my now ex-wife two years ago now. And so I lived on, I was married for over 20 years and found myself um, single, living alone. And then to top it all off, I moved to a new country, new city, all by myself, no wife, no kids, no pets, no friends. And I have to say and share this, that my first few months were absolutely brutal. Weekends hit me the hardest because I didn't have anyone to do things with. And so during the week was fine because I would be working and I would be busy at work all day and then come into the evening. I'd go to the gym, have some dinner, go to sleep. So weekends were really difficult in my first three months, not having any friends and not knowing anyone. It's a lot better now that I've started to get a circle of people that I do know. And I've done, I've said this quite a few times in my videos that you, you really, I really encourage you to go to restaurants by yourself. It's a great way to meet people, especially if you sit at the bar, great way to meet women too. It's like a secret. And so weekends have been really difficult for me. And the other thing too, that I will say with loneliness is it's really hard with dating because here you are alone, right? And I'm just sharing this with you guys. Here you are alone in the city, in this country, you're trying to go out on dates and then you get your ass kicked. Dating is not for the faint of heart for those that are single. And you know, this guys, those that are watching this, that are married and you're thinking maybe I should get a divorce and that life is going to be so much better when I'm single. It's better in a different way, but you are going to get your ass kicked by these women. They are savage, ruthless, and I'm, that's why I'm creating this channel so that I can at least educate all of you on what the red flags look out for accepting their nature. So at least you're not so surprised and man, not like Atlanta is that much different than Canada in dating, but it just, there's a much bigger pool. And with that pool comes more problems, more options. Yes. So I got my ass kicked in my first few months of just some new things that I wasn't aware of and some catfishing and some gaslighting and conversations and some canceling of plans and being rejected. I, I, my God. <laughs> so loneliness just got amplified on the weekends when, you know, imagine you have nothing else planned for that weekend and you're going to have this tentative date with someone, right? And you're looking forward to it all week because you, everything else is kind of routine. So you're looking forward to this date, come close to the date or the day of the date and she cancels or you get ghosted. Like it just, it adds, adds to the pressure of loneliness. It adds to, if you have some depression making you sad, like I will share this too, man. Like even the silver bachelor, cries and has bad moments. And there were times where I got 
ghosted or, or plans got canceled like an hour before or earlier that morning and I had really look at, been looking forward to this date all week and that evening and I'd go out and buy groceries and sometimes earlier on when I was here, not now, I have much tougher skin now, but earlier on and then I would cry alone like and I'm just sharing this with you because you know, I, I got to say this one thing. Creating this YouTube channel has been actually very therapeutic for me because I have an audience of people I can share my true feelings with. And yes, there are times where I would just be an emotional mess. And I'm thinking like, shit, I can't believe I just got ghosted. These plans got canceled. I'm alone in the city. I have no friends. Just a lot of those things hit me at the time. So people are going to disappoint you. People are going to cancel on you just recently. Um, you know, I was really looking forward to spending Christmas with a couple of new friends that I, I met Christmas day. And so, um, plans got canceled in the morning and I took that kind of hard because I'm like, you know what? Never in my life have I been alone on Christmas day ever. And this was the first time I'm, you know, alone Christmas day. It was too late for me to go out and buy a steak and some awesome wine. I'm going to remember that next time. Next time I'm always going to have a backup. I'm going to go out and buy myself an awesome steak and some wine. So at least that's the backup in case my plans get changed. I can at least enjoy something. So Christmas day really sucked because all I had was bubbly and some crab meat. Right? <laughs> Fine. One bottle of bubbly wasn't enough. So people are going to disappoint you and listen, this is how I deal with the loneliness now and any kind of depression. It's not perfect, but I will share this with you. These tips, right? Most importantly, you need to have hobbies and you need to keep yourself busy, right? Keeping yourself busy. One of the things I do is I go to the gym very regularly. Clearly you can see it, right? I'm in pretty good shape. And I go to the gym four or five times a week, sometimes more closer to four times sometimes. So I keep myself busy with that. I really am careful of how much sugar I'm eating, how many carbs I'm eating. So my diet is a big part of that as well. The other thing is I keep myself busy with hobbies. So I DJ for fun. If you haven't seen some of my DJ work, I'll post more DJ videos on my other channel, Kane Tastic, C A I N E. Tastic, T A S T I C. And I also um, have a hyper scooter that if you haven't seen my apartment luxury apartment tour video, you can get an idea on the, the, this uh, hyper scooter that I have. So I ride that around the city and then last, which is super fun. And I only ch created this channel a couple months ago since recording this video is YouTube and the amount of hours I'm spending on this every week is fantastic. And I love it. I love being able to share my stories, read the comments. Sometimes there's negative comments. I don't really care. And I just like engaging with people. And again, it's just part of the hobbies, keeping myself busy, dealing with the loneliness, uh, making sure my mental health is in check. And so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments how you deal with loneliness, mental health, share your story, and let me know if there's a video that you'd like me to do. Until next time, have a great day.